Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to send Zoom invite on WhatsApp. So imagine this, you are a motivational speaker and you have scheduled an event on let's say laziness. Okay. And many participants have registered themselves to attend this event online on Zoom. So you want to send an invite link on WhatsApp to these registered participant. So here you have two choices. The first choice is you copy all the details from Zoom, sort it out, compose a message and send it manually on WhatsApp. The problem with this approach is it's actually very repetitive and tiresome considering you have many participants. So I would suggest that you bring in some automation. So here, when a new registrant is added in Zoom, it will automatically send an invite link on WhatsApp. So in this video, we will be using Pabli Connect to integrate Zoom and WhatsApp. The best part of using Pabli Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser. pabli.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Here hover on products and here you will find the option called as connect. Click on connect and then just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also create your own free account in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing that Pabli Connect offers a plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. So you just have to clone the template of its workflow, which is available in the description box. Once you clone the template, you will get immediate access to this amazing workflow in your account. Okay, so scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button create workflow. Click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I am going to give it as Zoom integrations. Zoom integration. And then just click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Zoom because we want to send the data from Zoom. That is why. Okay, so now in the trigger event, how about we make it as configure webhooks. Okay, so at present, we only have uh, one trigger event that is configure webhooks. Now, if you want more trigger events according to your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate pabli.com to custom build an action event for you. Okay, so basically the gist of the process is we are just trying to integrate Zoom to Pabli Connect. So let's have a visit to Zoom. So this is my Zoom account. So to begin the integration process, uh, let's go to this part called as advanced. Click this. Okay, so under the advanced tab, you will find the option called as integrations. Click this, click on integration. Okay, so in the integrations, all you have to do is just click on go to app marketplace. Click this. Okay, just click on agree. Okay, so here in the app marketplace, click on develop. So here you will find the option called as build app. Click this. Okay, just click on the terms of agreement. Okay, so as you can see here, we have a lot of apps to build. So we are going with this one, JWT. Okay, so your obvious question is what is JWT? Okay, so JWT basically means JSON Web Token. So it is a self-contained way for securely transmitting information between parties as JSON objects. Basically, it means that this uh, data flow is verified and trusted because it is digitally signed. If you don't understand it, it's okay. All you have to do is just click on create. Okay, so we have to give a name to this uh, JSON app. I'm going to give it as uh, uh, Zoom, Zoom one. Okay, some random name. That's all. Just uh, let me just click on create. Okay, so okay, so I have uh, changed the app app name as uh, Starfield Tutorials because Zoom one was not looking proper. And the company name just uh, type Starbucks or something. Okay, just random names. Uh, my name is uh, Elon Elon Musk. Okay. And uh, this is my ad email address. Just enter all the description you can because we just want to create a GS JSON token. So, okay. So, we have entered the email address. Okay. So, in the links, we don't have to do anything about that. Just click on continue. Okay. So, we have uh, created a new JSON uh, JWT. So, this is a Starfield Tutorials. Okay. So, now come to this part called as features. So, in the features, we have to add a feature. So how about we the, uh, toggle this to the right in the event subscription and here just click on add new event subscription. So I'm going to give a name to the subscription. How about uh, joint link on WhatsApp? 
So the idea is that uh, we are going to send uh, the uh, Zoom call link on WhatsApp. So this is the name join link on WhatsApp. Of course, you can give any name according to your discretion. It's not really that important. Now coming to the part called as event notification endpoint URL. This is the most important part. So to get the event notification endpoint URL, we basically go back to public connect and copy this. This is the webhook URL you want. Copy this and just paste it here. Okay, so we have entered our URL. So now come to this part called as add events. Click this. Okay, so the we want to send the data when a new registration happens for the meeting. So we have selected meeting and just scroll down and here you will find meeting registration has been created. Click this and just click on done. Okay, so basically we are ready. Just click on save. Okay, so after clicking on save, just click on continue. Excellent. So basically it is showing your app has been activated on this account. Basically, this means that we have integrated Zoom to Public Connect. This means anytime a new registration is created in Zoom, Public Connect has to capture the data. So as to ensure that Public Connect captures this data, let me go to Public Connect and let me just click on this button. Capture Webhook Response. Click this. Okay, so it is showing it is waiting for the data. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to schedule an event in Zoom. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is uh, so this is the meetings page of Zoom. So I'm just going to click on schedule a meeting. Okay, so we are just going to schedule a meeting. So the name of uh, my meeting is uh, biology lecture. Okay, and uh, in the description, we are just leaving it as blank. And this meeting is on let's say 10th, 10th of March, 8 p.m. And the duration is of one hour the time zone let's keep it as indian time zone okay so the registration is of course required now coming to this part called as the meeting id so it's uh, going to be generated automatically the security password passcode is this one okay so in the host just toggle this to on okay in the participant just toggle this to on okay so let me just uh, click on save Okay, so a new register, a new event called as a biology lecture has been created. So now imagine this, the participants are going to register themselves uh, using this link. So let's explore this link. So this is the link. So as you can see, we have four blanks that is for the name, the last name, the email address, as well as the confirmation email address. So basically, we also want uh, the blank for the phone number, address, uh, pin code, zip code, and all those stuff, especially the phone number, because we want to send WhatsApp messages on that phone number. So basically, we have to edit this uh, particular form so what i'm going to do here is i'm going back to zoom okay i'm just going to scroll down and in the register options you will find the option called as edit click this okay so in the registration form we will find the option registration question and custom question so let's click on questions so as you can see we have to get the address the city the country the zip code okay the state the province the phone number so this is the most important one the phone number so the rest of these fields are not really imp that important but i'm just going to show you that public connect will capture all the details that is uh, given as an input in zoom okay so we have uh, selected all these fields okay so let me just uh, click on save all okay so let's have a look once again into in this uh, registration link form okay so as you can see this time we have a lot of fields the name, the last name, email address, the city address, and of course the phone. So basically imagine this, a person is going to register himself into this form, using this form. So the name of the person is uh, Lijim, okay, Lijim O'Reilly. This is the email, this is the confirmation email address, and this is the address, of course, and this is the city. And this is the zip code, and this is the phone number. Okay, so the fields has been entered. So let me just click on register. Okay, so a person called as Lijim O'Reilly has registered himself into for this uh, biology lecture okay so since public connect is integrated with uh, zoom let's have a look whether the public connect has uh, captured the data of this person called as lijim o'reilly okay yes the data has been captured so let's have a look so the topic is basically the event that is biology lecture then the time zone is asia calcutta the first name is lijim the last name is o'reilly the email is lijim123 word at the rate gmail.com so this is the address where Lijem lives and this is the city Bhopal and this is the country. This is the zip code. And of course, this is the phone number. So basically, this is the phone number where we will be sending the joining URL. OK, so let's explore the joining URL. So this is our joining URL. OK, so this is the URL that Lijem will be getting through WhatsApp message. OK, so let's explore. Do we have the URL? Yes, this is the URL. 
okay so public connect has captured this url also this is the same url that we will be sending on whatsapp okay so to send this url on whatsapp we will be using chat api okay so let me introduce you to another window so this window is called as the action window so in the choose app how about we make it as chat api because we will be using chat api to send the whatsapp message so chat api it is now in the action event we just want to send a link so let's make it as send a link okay so send a link is an action event there are many more action events like send message create groups and files and location all of them are a bunch of action events now just like the triggers if you have trouble finding the action event according to your choice you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate public.com to custom build an action event for you but at present i just want to send a link on whatsapp okay so just click on connect with chat api so in the new credentials, you have to fill in the API URL as well as the token. So to get the API URL as well as the token, let's have a visit to chat API. So chat API it is. Okay. Okay. So this is my chat API website. Okay. And I'm going to take you to the dashboard of a chat API. Okay. So this is the dashboard of chat API. So here you will find the API URL. So I'm just going to copy this. This is the API URL you want. Copy this and simply paste it here. Okay, so we have entered the API URL. Now coming to the part called as the token. So to get the token, just copy this. This is the token you want. Copy this and simply paste it here. So this is the token. So this is the API URL. This is the token. Just click on save. So when you click on save, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. The purpose of these blanks is very simple. We are going to construct a message from the data that we have received from Zoom via public connect. So before we start mapping, let me tell you something. Let me actually show you something. Uh, this is something about base 64 encoded. So your obvious question is, what is this? What is base 64 encoded? So I will explain you in a very few simple terms. So base 64 is an encoding scheme that converts binary data into textual format. So that textual data can be easily transported over network without any data loss. So the problem with the sending normal binary data is that to the network is bits can be actually misread which produces incorrect data in the receiving node so that is why we have to use uh, base64 encoded so basically the gist is we have to convert the url into base64 encoding now it's actually pretty easy all you have to do is uh, just uh, click on this plus button just follow my steps very easy there is no need for coding or anything so here just uh, type data transformer okay data transformer it is so now in the action event we are going to select base64 encode okay then just click on connect with data transformer okay so here in the data we basically have to map the url so our url is this one so this uh, button is called as the mapping button so when we click this we will find all the data that we have received from zoom so this is the url that we want to send on whatsapp so we have mapped it easy so just click on save and send test request okay so as you can see the encode so this is the encode okay so basically you have to map this detail here you basically have to map that detail here okay that's all so let's uh, start mapping but uh, before that let me just again click on connect and just uh, go back to the recent setting and just click on save okay so now we can start mapping in the detail it's actually very easy so uh, in the contact and uh, group we are just going to leave it as blank we don't have any data regarding that now coming to the phone number we are just uh, going to click on the mapping button and we will find the phone number of Lijim O'Reilly so this is the phone number of Lijim O'Reilly now in the body we are just going to map in the body that is basically our URL so let me just uh, scroll down so we have mapped the URL so basically this is the joining URL now coming to this part called as the base64 we are just going to scroll down and here we will find the base64 uh, encoding that is this one okay so we have mapped it now coming to the title we are just going to map in the title so the title is uh, basically our event that is chemistry classes chemistry lecture or chemistry classes no it was actually biology right yeah biology lecture so we have mapped it then coming to the description in the description we are just uh, going to map in the name hello mr miss And then we are just going to map in the full name that is the name is uh, Lijim. Okay, so Lijim. Enter a space and uh, the last name is uh, O'Reilly, I think. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, so basically this is the description, this is the title, that is basically the event, that is biology lecture. So we have mapped the base64 encoded, so base64 encoded mapping is this one, so we have mapped it, excellent. Now coming to the body, so body is basically the URL that we have got from here, this is the URL, okay, so, and of course we have the phone number, so this is the Lige O'Reilly's phone number. So when I click on save and send test request, it will uh, send this data on WhatsApp, so let me do that, let me just uh, click on save and send test request. Okay, so the API response is showing the data has been sent. So let me just uh, show you the message. Okay, so we have got the message. So this is the message, biology lecture. Hello, Mr. Miss Lijem O'Reilly. And this is the URL through which Lijem O'Reilly is going to join our uh, Zoom meeting. Okay, excellent. So the presence of uh, this message on WhatsApp shows that we have successfully integrated Zoom and WhatsApp with help of Public Connect. So how about we double check if our integration is working fine or not. But before we do that, let me explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So here I'm going to minimize my action window. Okay, and I'm going to minimize this action window. And of course, I'm going to minimize this trigger window. So basically, this is the whole process in a nutshell. First, you integrated Zoom to Public Connect, and then you have used the data transformer. And of course, you have connected chat API to Public Connect as to send the WhatsApp message. So now there is a perfect flow of data between Zoom and chat API. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to create one more registration. So this is the link. Okay, so imagine this another person is going to register to my biology classes. So the name of the person is, how about we go with uh, Tom Cruise? Okay, so Tom Cruise it is. So this is the first name, this is the last name, this is the email of Tom Cruise, this is the confirmation email, and of course this is the address, this is the city, and this is the phone number. So this is the phone number of Tom Cruise. Okay, so this is the phone number of Tom Cruise. Excellent. So we have uh, entered all the details. I mean Tom Cruise has entered all his detail, and uh, Tom Cruise is going to register himself. Okay, so Tom Cruise has made a registration. So let's have a look. Did he get the message on WhatsApp? Okay, so this is the message. Uh, so it reads as biology lecture, Mr. And Ms. Uh, Tom Cruise, and this is the joining URL. Excellent. So our integration is working absolutely fine. Not just these two apps, you can integrate up plenty of applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com. Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.